Hi everybody, it's Chris again. For the final installment of the award banking software and template program for the Chroma Crystal system, the Chroma Fusion system, the C3 system. I'm going to start with a review of what we've done to this point. If there's anything in the initial review here that I do that you don't understand, you probably should go back to a prior video just to get up to speed so that as we move forward through some of the more feature-laden um, items that we're going to do, you'll be not lost. In summary, what we did earlier on in the first video was we created a folder that we installed that we, excuse me, we copied all of the templates from all of the various disks that you're going to get. The software gets installed, but the templates and the elements within the templates get copied. And what we did to make it easy, we created a Cassie QLT folder. We put it on our desktop. Feel free to put it wherever you want, but you should create a single folder. Underneath it, we have the award maker elements, which are the backgrounds, the clip bar titles, the templates, and the holders, which you'll see those in a second, and all of the other templates for crystal, plates, and jewelry. For those of you who have crystal systems, we also have a plate and jewelry combination system with the crystal that allows folks to do uh, an even wider array of products and awards and recognition products. And lastly, we have a folder for our projects, for our photos. So to get going, I'm going to do a basic piece. We're going to take a piece. We're going to do a, an elementary piece of crystal. We're going to pick a template. We're going to pick a crystal template. We set up a project here, open up a project. Here are my crystal templates. Here's a bell ornament we're going to do. I loaded the template. Okay. To put the picture inside of this green area template, this represents the area that the picture needs to be. I'm going to click the small tab down here where a little um, menu opens up saying where's the picture. Is it a file, video, scanner? We're going to click file. We're going to go to our folder that has our pictures here. I happen to have it handy right here, project photos. If you don't see it here, you got to go browse for wherever you put your, your photos. Okay going to click a picture, lay it in, ready to go. If you wanted to add text, so we hit text, add, grandpa, apply, okay, simple as that. Want to make it bigger, feel free, change the font, add, edit, at your leisure, shadow, add a shadow. This is another commonly used feature that we think that you should get to know. Okay, that's going to be a, a common element that will be very helpful in design. Um, then you're ready to print. Hit print. And there's your ornament, and you're ready to go. That was a very quick run through, but if there was anything there that confused you, probably should go back to one of the first or second um, videos just to get up to speed. Um, so essentially what I did was uh, I opened up a template for a piece of crystal, I put in a picture, I typed some text, I added a shadow, and then I printed. Okay? The next thing that we went through from here, this was the basics of making a piece of crystal from scratch. The next thing we went through was when we get to the awards, how do we make an award? And the easiest way to make an award is to use our pre-done templates. And to do a pre-done template, pretty simple. We're going to start a new project. I'm going to hit File, and we're going to go to a folder called Ready Award Templates. That's what we call it. Click it, and here you see a series of different designs on different pieces of crystal where most of the work is already done for you. You're going to click Teamwork as an example of one award. Everything here is ready to go. You have a space for a picture. I grabbed that with my, with my mouse. Um, here I could click here and I could import a photo. I could add the text. In this area here, I would assume would be the logical place to put the text. We also went into options with this picture area. And you do have the options to change what this picture area is. You do have the option to size it. Adjusting and transforming will make it larger or smaller if you'd like. 
You can also delete it. I'm hitting the delete key. And I can replace that with another picture holder, different shape or size. And to do that, I'll just start another project, hit File. And I'm going to go to my photo holders. All of these folders that you see me accessing should be in that one CASI QLT folder. So even if you don't see it here immediately, when you hit Browse for Folder, you should go to your CASI QLT folder. You should find it within there. So here we have the different sizes. Let's say we're going to put in um, a circle. I'm going to hit copy once I've got it. At the bottom here, as we showed earlier, is our working um, projects that we're on. Here I got three open down here. I'm going to go back to the one we had. I'm going to hit paste. I'm going to put my little circle in here. Okay, and once again, I can adjust and make this bigger or smaller as I wish. There we go. And of course, just clicking this, where's the picture? And we put in the picture. Okay? This is an example of using a template. Pick the design you want. Do you want to put a picture in it? If so, what size of the frame for the picture do you want? Do you want to use the one that comes with it, or do you want to change it? You have the option. If you want to remove it and not use the photo, then just delete it like I'm doing right now, and then just fill all of your text and stuff like that. It might be excellence, you know, the name of the company, a school, a professor's name, the year, and, and such things like that. This was the preliminary and last video before we went to the next step, which is how to create a piece of um, award-making uh, crystal or plate or piece of jewelry from scratch. I'm going to open up another project and show you how we got to that step. To do that, we're going to open up a crystal template, assuming that we're making a crystal. If we were doing a plate, we could open up a plate. So I'm going to open up a piece of crystal, any kind I can do. What I'll do for this is you can see this teamwork one that I have here now. I'm going to scroll over to the rectangular, the rectangular pieces of um, crystal. So to do from blank, rather than use the pre-done templates, open up the piece of crystal you want to make. What award background do you want? That's the next step. Replace from a file. Board backgrounds. I'm going to scroll to that red background that you just saw. Here we go. There's teamwork. There's the background. Right. Now we want to put in a place for a photo. So like we said earlier, we need the picture holders. We opened one up earlier here. So why don't we go back to that one and copy it and go back to our teamwork award. We're going to hit paste. Okay. We can then add in our picture. We can change the size if we so desire. And then, of course, type your text. I apologize if I'm going too fast for you, but you should have a brief. You should have a pretty good idea as to what I'm doing, if you've grasped the first few videos that we've done. Um, if anything here looks totally um, new to you, please go back and please review the videos again. Practice the part that we're about to get into right now is um, going to require. A pretty good handling of what we've done to this point because now we're going to start handling a lot of features that the program can do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close these ones that I've done earlier and we're going to get ready for the exciting new part of our training. Okay. As you know, our crack art department, we've really put together a great combination of elements that you can utilize to make really exotic awards and you don't have to be a Photoshop expert, you don't have to be a graphics whiz, you just really need to learn what the elements are that we're giving you, where they're located in the folders, and how to apply them. And when I say how to apply them, the trickiest part is where to click. And I'll show you that as we go through. First, let me go through a new, the new element that's that you haven't seen yet. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a basic piece of crystal just to show you the differences. You've already seen the backgrounds. I'm going to add any background, any award background, just so we get something in there. There's a blue basic background. But what you haven't seen are there are a lot of elements that can go in here. And I'm going to give you an example. If you want to go to some of our elements, what we're going to do is we're going to insert 
and we're going to go to a new folder that we haven't been into too much. It's called Clip Art and Titles. This folder is filled with elements that are going to be really useful in making beautiful design piece of crystals, okay? The one key thing to remember is you see down here at the bottom right hand corner, this is very important when using these clip art elements, is that you have to click the add. Insert over here, yes. Okay, then you want to pick the folder with the clip art, but you have to click add when you want to put it in. I'll show you why. There's the star. Okay. It's on top. Perfect. I can adjust the size by hitting adjust and transform. And I can bring it down to scale, okay, for whatever size that it needs to be. That's how that works. Let me show you what happens if I don't do that. I'm going to hit insert. I'm going to go to that clip art file, and here's that same star. But now I'm going to hit it's replace. I'm set for replace. When I hit that, what happens? It replaces the background, okay? It's going to replace what's back there, and that's not what we were trying to achieve. So, Control Z undoes what we just undoes what we just did, and there you go. I'm going to use this as a little bit of a work area, sort of like a scratch pad, to show you some other elements of these designs and the things you can do with them. These these elements. Let's just go back to this star again. Keep in mind that depending on the size of the piece that you're making, the element that you bring in may be too large for what you're working on. The reason is, is we made all of the elements large enough to be for all of even the largest pieces of crystal. Because you, we know that the persons making the smaller pieces of crystal, the elements can be brought down and not lose resolution. It's easier to, to, to bring it, make it smaller, make it look good, than to expand it. So here we have our star. And when you have these elements, there's a few things you could do with them. Obviously, you could adjust them. Hit tr adjust and transform and we could change the size, okay? Another thing you can do was we did some, in one of the other, other um, uh, videos is you could rotate it. So here's the rotation part, see? Rotate it. And the other very important part, and getting used to doing shadows is very important for really getting a nice technique. These elements, all of these elements, when you are going to add a shadow, you have to click Decorate. Go to Shadow. Add a shadow. Pick a color. You could reduce this, the, the softness of the edge. You could make it more transparent. This gives it a more 3D effect, the star, in this particular case. Okay. These are things you can do with these elements. You could rotate them, expand them, make them smaller. The key part in working with them all the time is grabbing them in the right place and being sure that when you do bring them in, that you, are, that you are selecting this Add button. Now I've got this star here. I'm going to click off the piece. I have this star in here. I'm going to, I'm going to move this star up because I want to show you some more elements. In fact, I'm going to delete this star, and we're going to bring in some other different things. In this package, we have many um, text graphics. Whoops. See, there's a case where I didn't hit the Add. I hit Replace. So let me uh, undo that, Control-Z, and hit Add and Apply. Now, you see how big that is? This is way bigger than what we need for this piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust, and we're going to transform, and we're going to bring this down. And this may take a couple of times because I'm going to go off the screen practically. You have to make sure that the when you're grabbing and moving this, that the the mouse pointer is a north, south, east, and west arrow with a hand, okay, this way you can move it. If it's like it is nice, see with the forefinger, it ain't going anywhere. So you're going to hit control Z. I'm going to go back and I'm going to find, there you go, all right. Now we can make this smaller. And here's a nice graphic, ready to go. Now this is a little probably not properly colored for this background, but what do we know we can do? We can click that background. And here's the little icon for that. And we can replace that background with something more suitable. I'm going to go back to award backgrounds and put something that might be more complementary to, um, to that coloring. Let's just go with the gold for now. 
Okay, so there you go. Once again, if you choose, you could decorate this and you can add a shadow, softening it up and moving it into place really does wonders for giving it the right effect. More graphics and elements that you could add. There's, there's a never-ending amount of graphics that you can utilize. Um, some are quite large clip arts, for instance, like this, uh, the gold star one. Clicking that, oh, let's make sure we hit add. Adds gold stars across the whole piece, which is really a nice effect. And even here you could add shadows. If you want to make the stars bigger or smaller, you just simply you can transform it, make them smaller or bigger, however you like. On this gold piece, you actually might want to add a shadow to that, actually. Shadow. And to add it, you would simply hit Add Shadow. And, uh, well, I'm going to undo that because the shadow, there's so many darn stars that the shadows look like stars, don't they? So we'll, we'll skip that. What we can do, though, so you can see, I don't want you to not think that you can't do it. Hit Adjust, Transform. I'll make it a little bit smaller. This way you can, you can get a grasp onto what we're trying to do here. It's got to become that little... Sometimes you got to move the cursor around to get to that four-way arrow. So here, if I add a shadow here, light, excuse me, that's not what we want to do. We'll hit decorate. Remember, when it's a graphic, you do it from decorate, shadow, add shadow, soften it up, da da ba beep. And then what you want to do is you want to move this to where it's supposed to be. I think it's up here somewhere. I think that's kind of like where it's got to be. Maybe white might be a better color, okay? make it more solid. The reason why I'm doing this hodgepodge of graphics up here is just to give you um, a buffet sampling of all of the different graphics that we can use because in a minute we're going to start putting these graphics into place. Let me do one more graphic to throw in there for you just so you can get a feel for all the various elements that we have in here. We have bows and 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 rectangles and plaques if you're doing awards where you want to put a plaque in okay and we'll do one where we do a plaque adjust transform and there you go there's a plaque you might want to type somebody's name in there okay we have seals ribbons go back to the menu clip art okay Seals, gold seals, ribbons, bars, red ribbons, bows, bow ties, text, shining stars, all kinds of great stuff. Okay? All when put together in the proper order and according to your taste and design that your client might ask for will create some really nice stuff. So I'm going to close what I got here. I got a bunch of stuff open here. Now we're going to get to work. The first thing we're going to do is a basic um, crystal, but I'm going to use a round crystal. The reason why I'm going to use a round shape is this. Many of you have the C3 system, and the C3 system does plates as well as many other products. So if I do a round piece of crystal, it goes to, it goes to say that you could also, with that, same, with that same piece, you can make a plate. Okay, so let's pretend this is either a plate for plate owners or a piece of crystal for crystal owners. So let's make something nice out of this out of this piece, utilizing everything that we've learned to this point. First thing is that I think I'll do is I'm going to add a background. Kind of give me a, a starting point. So I'm going to replace from file. I'm going to go to I don't want clip art, I want backgrounds. So I'm going to go to um, my award backgrounds and try to find something that looks, yeah, this is very nice. This is a nice, friendly background. Okay, so we got a nice, eh, kind of look Easter egg-y, kind of uh, pastel look, and uh, that's the beginning of our piece. Next part is, I think I want to add what this is going to be. What is the, is it an award? Is it going to say something? So what I do is I'm going to add a piece of clip art. So I'm going to go down here to add, 
But now I'm going to go to my clipboard page. And this piece, we could, let's see what we got. By the way, this is just the beginning of what you see. Go to our website every, every couple of weeks, and um, you're going to see more and more stuff added. You should download it when you see it. Let's do Shining Star and apply. So here's the Shining Star. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. I'm glad I did that because, as you've seen in the previous videos, you got to watch where you're placing the mouse cursor because uh, unless you're paying attention and kind of taking it slow, you're going to constantly be grabbing the wrong element. Really going to happen a lot. So get used to the Control Z undo. Okay? I can't grab it until it's a north, south, east, west kind of a star. Where is there? You go. Now I can grab this and bring it in. Okay? Now this is too big for what I got right now, so we're simply going to transform it or adjust it. So I had adjust and transform, and I'm going to bring the size down. Okay. So we'll call that shining star. Now, this is looking nice right here. I think what I'll do is, though, on this particular piece is I will add a shadow to this. I'm going to decorate it and hit shadow. I'm going to add the black shadow. I'm going to move it a little closer. This sets the depth. And then I am going to soften this up. Now as I'm looking at how this blends into the background, I can see that I think that the background should be darker to offset this. So I've selected the background. Here I've selected that piece. Here I've got the whole background. And I'm going to adjust the lighting on this just to make it a little bit darker. Just to help that shining star shine a little bit more. Actually, I'm looking at that shining star. Pardon me. I'm going to go back to the shadow on this, and I'm going to reduce a little bit of its softness just to make it a little bit more. A little more visible. Okay, we have our shining star. I think we should find a nice graphic that we can add to this as well. So I'm going to go back to Insert, and I'm going to File. And I'm going to add. Remember, don't hit replace. So let's see what kind of goes with this. I think I saw something earlier. This little swishy thing. This looks good. So let's bring in the swish. The swish, let's say we put it right about here. Remember, you could um, adjust these things. You could rotate them. If you wanted to adjust it, you could rotate it. You can make it larger, smaller, whichever you'd like to do. Once again, though, this piece, I'm going to make this a little darker. Okay. So now we have a nice little colorful swish. And I think at that, and that's like a shooting star. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another graphic. And let me go slow on this one. To insert a graphic, you go to Insert, go to File, and you're going to make sure you're clipping on, you're, you're, you're selecting the clip art, right? And here are your graphics. I know I saw a star down here. Here's a star. Oops. Okay, did it again. I didn't hit add. I didn't. I had replace that. So I'm going to hit Control Z. I'm going to hit add, apply. And this is going to happen a lot, so get used to that. Um, but you can you can always recover where you are. As long as you don't keep clicking away trying to fix it, hit Control Z right away. So you've got a nice little star. We'll put it at the end of this shooting rainbow here. Once again, we can rotate it if you want. Once again, you can decorate it and give it a little shadow. And in this case, I think we'll add a shadow, but I think we'll do a different color. I think we'll pick a color like that's, um, use this eyedropper here. You can select a color, or you can select something from here. Go oh, like a blue shadow. Soften it up a little bit. And just move a little closer to the star. There you go. All right. I think we're on our way to having a nice piece here. I think the next part, that was we have to put in a, a holder for the photo. Um, you'll start to get used to the size, shape, and the area that you want to fill, what looks better. You have two, actually you have three areas that you can go to to find a holder when you get into this stage of making award crystals. And let me show you the three areas. The first one is you open a new project. Is, is any crystal template could be used? Okay? 
The second part is the photo holders that we talked about. Those are the photo holders. While originally designed for the main pieces that we did earlier, you could more than adequately use these. Also, you can use the templates for the plates and the jewelry. Here are the jewelry templates, and here are the plate templates. Now, I do apologize to those who don't have these systems. You'll have to stay with the uh, the crystal templates, which is more, and the photo holders, which is more than adequate anyway to do what you need to do to create an unlimited um, array of product. So here we have the shining star, but I'm going to go back to the crystal templates because I think um, in this area here, there's a piece in particular that I think looks going to look good, and that is this little this little wavy thing, this little fan. So I'm going to copy this fan, paste it in place. Now, this is a small one. This one I want to make bigger, actually. So I'm going to hit Adjust, which is what I just did, and I'm going to transform it. I'm going to make this larger. I'm going to kind of nestle that into the groove of that flying star. And now I'm going to replace the picture. Let's see what will look good in here. Project photos. I really should have put in a better assortment of pictures. This will look very nice. We've got the nice girl here on the merry-go-round. Bring it in a little bit more. And I would just punch it up once again with the lighting. I would give it a little boost. There you go. So now here you have a beautiful shining star. This could be a plate. Um, this could be. A, this is meant to be for a sunflower crystal. But this is an example of taking all the elements, background, adding graphics, and adding a holder, and bringing in the picture. Okay? So that's example number one. The next thing I want to do is, um, this is going to be an example for C3 owners and folks making jewelry, but I think that e even if you're doing crystal, um, that you'll pick up some tips and tricks from what I'm about to do. So the next piece that we're going to do is going to be a, uh, a heart-shaped piece of jewelry. So I'm going to go to the jewelry templates and pick up a, a heart. I'm going to need a background for my heart, and it just so happens that I can use all of my award backgrounds for my heart. So let's go to the award backgrounds. Where we go, award backgrounds, ready award templates. I think I just lost myself. Okay. Award maker. Award backgrounds. There we go. Let me see where I'm lost. My award backgrounds. Browse for folders. Open. Bear with me. Replace from file. Go to award backgrounds. Okay, there we go. Had that faux pas been a little longer, I would have been forced to edit my first video, which I'd really rather not do. Okay. So let's find a nice background that'll be good for the heart. Well, well red, I guess, always works for a heart. Um, so we got our nice red heart. Now let's put some sort of nice momentum. Let's utilize those graphics that we just learned how to do. I'm going to go to insert. Okay, and we're going to go to graphics, clip art. We're going to hit add, not replace, like I've done three times already. And let's take this nice red ribbon. Now this red ribbon, I'm doing a little piece of jewelry, so this ribbon, this ribbon's coming in a little on the large side. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to edit that, adjust it, and hit transform, and bring this down a little bit. There we go. Bring it back into play. Bring it back. It takes a couple of a couple of times to go back and forth. Don't let it go off the white page. Make sure there's always a handle available in the white area just in case you gotta snag it. 
and this takes a couple of times because it's so big compared to a little piece of jewelry that we got to keep bringing it down. But we're almost done. The markups are so high in the jewelry that it's always worth it to spend a little extra time. Okay, so we got a nice little red thing here. Let's make a little higher. Spread it out. Okay. And we are going to, let's add somebody's name to it. Insert. Excuse me. We're going to go to text and we're going to add text. And we're going to do um, Sue and Bill. We'll pick a nice font for suitable for a piece of jewelry. The Black Chance is a nice font that happens to be the same font utilized for our for our name software for those who utilize it. And we'll go black on that because I'm going to add a shadow to that. I'll bring it down a little bit. Make sure it fits. And a little bit smaller. Basically what I'm doing is I'm combining elements is what I'm doing. Okay, that just have to add the shadow first. Then we could move it around and soften it up and do what we wish. Get it in there. there. That looks good enough. There, Sue and Bill. Now, for this little heart-shaped piece of jewelry well, we need a holder for that picture. In this particular case, I'm going to simply create a new project and I'm going to open up I'm going to open up a very similar template this is the full bleed version I'm going to open up the feathered version of that template and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to open up my project and I'm going to paste it in here see how it's a little bit bigger so what we're going to do is we're going to adjust and transform this make it a little bit smaller to fit I kind of call this technique nesting. You could nest a template within a template within a template, theoretically. Like this heart one that I'm doing right now. Let me put a, a, a photo in here, replace from file. And let's go to our photo folder, project photos, and let's put this nice couple in here. They kind of look like a Sue and a Bill, right? Okay. This piece is, is done. Very nice. When this prints out on a nice inkjet printer and it's glazed, on a nice heart, on a nice gold piece of jewelry, this would look very nice. Um, but there is this ability to nest within nest within nest. I could take this same template, I could copy it again. Going back to the piece, I could hit paste, and I could make it smaller. And you're going to really have to come, come up with some sort of really creative idea. And if you do, let me know to what end. But here's that same template within a template within a template. So. So here, you could put in another one, replace from file, and you can put grandma and grandpa in there. There you go. Now, this is uh, very eccentric here, but in theory, and I could put another one in here if I wanted to zoom in, but this could be grandma, grandpa, and the grandkids all within a heart, within a heart, within a heart. Very nice. Be a nice effect. But if you come up with some really good uses for this template within a template within a template, Send us an email. We'd love to hear them. I'm going to delete that one. But this heart-shaped piece is, is done. Okay? So that's example two of taking the template of the piece you want to make, adding a background, and then adding graphics, templates, excuse me, clip art from what we supply for you to the piece. Adding text. We add a shadow. We added a picture holder, the heart. And we laid in the picture. And then we went off on a tangent there by adding another template within the template. But I just wanted to get, give you that exposure to that. Okay, let's do another one. Because it's good to do these examples and show you some of the various things. Um, getting back to Rusty and Dusty, if you remember them from earlier. Let's do a Rusty and Dusty. Go to the Crystal Templates. And I need something vertical here. That'll be good. Okay, let's add that wood background for Rusty and Dusty. Go to Backgrounds. Award Backgrounds, have it all. Let's put in the dork one. So there we got the nice little paw prints. Kind of looks cute there. And in this particular one, I want to just give you an example of, of utilizing 
a clip art graphic as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add, insert, and I'm going to go to my clip art folder over here, clip art. Remember down here, I'm going to add. I think what I'm going to add here is um, this gold bar looks good. Let's do that. Uh, that looks good. That'll be nice for Rusty and Dusty to put their names on there. So I'm going to hit adjust because this is a little bit too big for this little plaque here. So I'm going to bring it down. Bring it back down. All right. Look at that. I'm going to add some text. Basically, we've seen this before. I'm going to type Rusty and Dusty. I'll go back to that Black Chance that that um, Black Chance font, which is very nice. Black. Rusty and Dusty. I don't even think that needs a shadow. That looks so nice. What are we going to put them in? What 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 holder are we going to put in what shape? We did the doghouse with the arch earlier. I think this time what we'll do is open up a new file and um, let's put them in a heart. Now, are these traditional combinations to make awards and recognition of plaques? Probably not. I don't think anybody is putting a heart-shaped picture of dogs on a paw-printed wood plaque with a gold brass nameplate. But you know what? The point being is you can do all kinds of eclectic mixes. You have total flexibility with this system. Okay. i got to keep myself from laughing after saying that. Okay. I'll make a little bit smaller. That's my preference here. Okay. Going to bring in Rusty and Dusty. Go to our photos, project photos, right here. Dusty and Rusty. I've got them confused now if the one's Rusty and one's Dusty. Okay. So there you go. We have our pictures in here. Lastly, I think we should put another element down here. So I'm going to insert another clip art graphic. Go on to clip art. Like I said, there are so many different elements in here from plaques to awards. Um, I'm going to put a little red, a red little, is that what I want to do? Yeah, let's put a little red ribbon on. On. Uh, look at that. How many times can I do that in one seminar? Okay, control Z. Control Z. Okay, what we've done is is um, we're gonna have to change that background and go back to award backgrounds and get the doggy thing back in there. We're gonna have to replace again. There you go. Now we'll go back into adding that clip art. Normally we would edit this out of the video, but I think you need to see what the most common miss hits of the keys are and how to recover them from them. Basically what I had done was I had replaced the background of the of the dog plaque with that red that red seal. And when I hit control Z it didn't control Z. So what I did was I simply replaced the red ribbon with the wood plaque again. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go in and I'm going to insert that clip art from the file. I'm going to go back to my clip art folder. I'm going to snag that red ribbon this time, but this time I'm going to hit Add. I'm going to do it right. There it is. Now I'm going to adjust the size. Make it to the size that's going to fit on my piece. There you go. And I guess the last thing would be to do is to take a piece like that and to simply perhaps insert some text. Click Text, Add Text. And... Um, pour... Prince, that's an adoption agency here in New York, so we'll kind of use that as a, like a gift for somebody when they come to adopt a pet, they get a, they should get an award.
or something to remember that special occasion by. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to create that award. And um, Tetura is a nice font for this sort of stuff. Here we go. And that should be white. Here it is, poor prints, and it don't fit. We're simply going to resize it on down. There you go. There is our eclectic award combining all of the elements that you've seen. Reiterating everything that we said to this point. You're getting a big selection of backgrounds to start with. You already have a large selection of the initial templates, whether it be crystal, plates, jewelry. You're going to get a very large selection of clip art. And you're also going to get all of the photo holders that you need to make all of the various pieces. The only thing left, I think, to cover is, what if I want to make something with a background and such, but it's not, you didn't give it to me. I, I have a special thing. What if I, and I happen to be prepared for this, so um, what if my client, let's say it's a travel agency, and they want to do uh, gifts for their um, for their customers, and they want to utilize, I don't have a, a tropical background as such like that. Isn't that Shining Star nice? I really like that. Um, I think that should be adjusted before I, eh, that looks good. Um, let's do one where you have to have your own background, okay? Where you where you going to get something from the customer, you're going to create something. Let's create a new product. Let's create a new file. Let's say we're doing a, a rectangle piece of crystal. Okay. We're going to make a nice recognition gift for somebody who chooses to go on a cruise, say. All right. Well, the travel agency gives you this tropical picture, so why don't we use that to replace the background? And what I did was I copied that picture into my photos folder. And back here I have tropical beach. And I'm going to use that as my background. Okay. Now I have a tropical beach. If this was a, bo uh, a child's birthday party, you might have candy canes and M&Ms and all kinds of goodies in the background as such. Um, but essentially here, um, I think a nice memento for a couple going on a cruise would be to add a picture holder on this beautiful piece. Uh, so let's go to um, go to a new project. Like I said, I toggle between them because it refreshes this top screen here which I find to be the easiest way. Let's go with a heart here. Copy. Let's go back to your background that you've chosen. And I think, oops, transform. We're going to make this to a size. This makes a nice gift. Insert the couple's picture that went on this nice, perhaps it was a honeymoon cruise, how about that? Put the couple in there. And then of course, Liberty Travel Agency. And black, and say Ariel Black. And this might be a really nice uh, thank you gift for going on a cruise or, or a honeymoon to an exotic island. I think we'd add one more little bit of text here to give it some flavor. And let's say it was uh, -bum. Aruba. And getting back to the fill options, you're not just limited to, to the ones that we have, of course. Um, Use gradients. I think now this is always a good tropical one. Is this this sunset one? And you can put that anywhere you'd like. That would hit a little shadow to it. A little background, a little black. There you go. Make it a little bit bigger. So you know, I'd probably move this down. 
actually maybe something like that okay so you have this nice looking couple you can put it wherever you think it's going to look best I guess kind of there is looking good in the shade of the tree and um, so this is an example of using your background to create a piece okay so the fact that you can utilize any of your own backgrounds really expands the horizons for you hopefully you've gotten a good um, overview as to the capabilities the step-by-step -step, uh, methods utilized to create them there is a particular order that you're going to go through when creating pieces from choosing the size choosing the background choosing how you go, what size the picture is going to be bringing in the picture and what other elements do you want to add it's pretty methodical beware of two things where you're clicking as you saw many a time I clicked in the wrong area and I've been doing this a while so it's very easy to do that and um, not only clicking but when you're grabbing and moving things to be sure you have the right element okay and that concludes this portion of it I'm not going to say it's the end because I got a feeling it's going to be another training session or two to come after but for now uh, thanks for watching and um, if you have questions call the office 800-221-9832 everybody who answers the phone is trained to utilize everything that you that you're using and learning how to do and can answer any questions that you have feel free to email us with any questions that you have if it's the weekend and such we're always checking the emails on our weekends we always have somebody checking it we can answer your questions um, we look forward to uh, moving on to other packages that are coming along we have the gift making package which is going to be introduced in about a week or two from now today is uh, we are in the middle of April here but the gift making package is coming along and that will be out very very shortly we will be doing training videos on it as well we also have as part of that gift making package is our entire family of names creative names software which is a very popular program that we've been selling for years that allows you to select anybody's name and to print out the history, the etymology, the derivation, the character and personality traits of anybody's name in various particular configurations on very artistically designed backgrounds through printers and they get framed and put into um, and make nice gifts. Well, what we've do, done is, is that we've created a methodology so that you can take all of that output from the names program and bring it into the award making and the gift making package. So that's really exciting because nobody's doing that at all. Nobody's doing what we've done here as well. But that's what to look forward to. Once again, if you have any questions, please give us a call. And thank you so much. And now we're going to.